a day after escaping from house arrest and slipping out of his country, a Venezuela opposition leader arrived in Spain on Saturday and met with Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy. I am going to dedicate myself to traveling the world, to spread the hope of all Venezuelans to escape this regime, this dictatorship, the opposition leader, Antonio Ledesma, declared. Venezuela isn't on the verge of an abyss it has fallen into the abyss. Mr. Ledesma, who had been under house arrest in Caracas on sedition charges since 2016, managed to evade his captors on Friday morning and flee to neighboring Colombia. His flight from Bogotá landed at Barajas Airport in Madrid, where, a Venezuelan flag draped over his shoulders, he hugged his wife and two daughters, who had left Venezuela earlier. Mr. Ledesma said he would fight President Nicolas Maduro and his socialist government from exile. Mr. Ledesma began by meeting on Saturday with Mr. Rajoui at the presidential palace. Neither man spoke publicly after the meeting. Ledesma has not said what other countries he plans to visit. Mr. Maduro, for his part, called Ledesma a vampire flying around the world. When Mr. Ledesma was removed as mayor of Caracas and first detained in February 2015, he was accused of plotting with the United States to topple Mr. Maduro Mr. Ledesma and American officials rejected the accusation. The year before, Mr. Ledesma was one of the leaders of government protests that shook Venezuela and led to the jailing of other prominent opponents. His allies saw the detention as an attempt by Mr. Maduro to weaken the opposition before legislative elections later that year. In Madrid on Saturday, he was greeted by the former president of Colombia, Andres Pastrana, and the former Venezuelan ambassador, Fernando Gervasi. Venezuela is completely collapsing, Mr. Ledesma We can't wait any longer. We don't have any resources left only our morale. Mr. Ledesma said his decision to flee was driven by threats intended to force the opposition to resume negotiations with Mr. Maduro's government A fellow opposition leader, Leopoldo Lopez, remains under house arrest in Venezuela. Mr. Maduro's jailing of his opponents has been widely criticized by foreign governments and democracy advocates worldwide. On Monday, the foreign ministers of the European Union demanded the liberation of all political prisoners in Venezuela. And the Trump administration cited it in imposing sanctions this year against Mr. Maduro and dozens of officials in his government. Over the summer, after sidelining the Venezuela legislature by putting in place a new body known as the Constituent Assembly, Mr. Maduro's government began releasing some political opponents from custody. On Friday, after slipping past intelligence officers stationed outside his residence, Mr. Ledesma passed through several police checkpoints in a long journey by car to Colombia, where officials have been at odds with the Maduro government. Colombian immigration authorities said Mr. Ledesma had entered the country legally after crossing the Simon Bolivar International Bridge, which connects the Venezuelan city of San Antonio del Tachita with the Colombian town of Villa Rosario. Mr.